final thing that we want to discuss in this chapter is the impact that man is having on the carbon cycle and how that ties into photosynthesis, the discussion that we just completed. So I hope it's clear to you at this point the effect that plants have on this carbon cycle. Plants are continually removing CO2 from the atmosphere and storing large amounts of it in their um, bodies, in their biomass, um, and therefore sequestering CO2. So when we cut down forests and, and burn them, as often happens in developing countries around the equator, then we're increasing CO2 levels in two ways. We're taking away a living organism that was previously removing carbon dioxide from the atmosphere, and we're taking that tree and we're burning it, releasing the large amounts of carbon that are stored in the tree, placing them back into the atmosphere. And so 25% of the CO2 added to the atmosphere comes from burning and cutting in forest in the tropics. Now that's 25% of the carbon dioxide that humans add to the atmosphere. Um, not 25% uh, of the carbon dioxide overall, as you realize from our discussion of the carbon cycle. So replanting young trees uh, helps. Young trees have faster photosynthetic rates than older trees, but they're smaller. Um, and so overall they're using less CO2, but eventually um, that will be of great benefit. Interestingly though, deforestation is less of an issue than the burning of what we call fossil fuels. So the biggest sources of carbon dioxide are industry and transportation. And so you realize from our discussion of the carbon cycle that fossil fuels are living organisms that died, as far as we can tell, millions of years ago, were pressed down deep in the earth, and eventually made this transformation uh, into a different form, coal, oil, or, or natural gas. And so if it wasn't for humans, that carbon that's trapped far below the earth in the form of fossil fuels would never be removed. It would sit there forever. But what we're doing is drilling down into the earth, pulling that carbon up to the surface, burning it, and therefore taking that carbon from deep in the earth and putting it back into the atmosphere.